Hey guys, this is Heath from Hardworking Man, and uh, Rachel's not here today. Um, actually, I am not Heath from Hardworking Man. I am Jeff from Adirondack Woodsman, but I have a Hardworking Man hat on today. If you guys haven't checked out their channel yet, check it out. It's a it's a great channel to uh, learn lots of new things and uh, just have a overall good time. But uh, today, what we're going to be working on in is uh, building a frame for. Uh, my wedges for my East MA 1222. Um, I've actually got uh, two box wedges, a tall four-way wedge, and a six-way wedge, and I need something to hold these up so they're easier to uh, to uh, get at. So I've actually taken some ash that I uh, milled last summer. Um, there's a couple pieces of pine in here too that uh, I need a couple extra pieces. And what we're going to do is take these. I'm going to make a variation of the frame that Jeff and Patty made out at Mountaintop Outdoors. They made more of a long frame to, to house them all. Um, I'm going to make more of a box frame for these because that way I can put them on a, uh, put them on a pallet, move it around if I need to. Um, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's uh, video. And uh, if you have any uh, suggestions for improvements on the design let me know but we're going to get started today so i started by staining these um ash boards um cutting them to length they're two by sixes um i don't remember the exact length these are either 43 or 44 inches and uh the the, the uh the cross pieces but uh i'll put a list of the uh dimensions so if anybody wants to build one similarly you'll have it but uh and as usual, I'm going to I'm going to do a little overkill here today. I'm going to be bolting these together for the most part. There will be there will be some uh, screws that are going in based upon the orientation of the boards and what I'm screwing into what. But uh, but yeah, so let's get started. Okay, guys. So I'm going to get started here. I've lined up uh, two of the. Um, two by sixes uh, lengthwise. This piece here, do I got the right one? Yeah, this piece here is a 32 inch two by four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two bolt holes at the top and one at the bottom. And I'm actually using uh, 3 8 inch bolts. So like I said, a little bit overkill. Um, I went with uh, a length of what was it five inches to get through the four and a half inches of uh, of, of rough cut here so let's uh, see if we can drill these straight through and I've lined them up so that that way everything's going to line up well once I uh, finish drilling the holes here I won't end up with you know the bolt not you know kicking it out or whatever so let's give it a shot here Actually, before I get too deep, I think I'm going to do is throw a clamp on here just to keep it from uh, picking up when it gets down to the next piece of wood. At least until I get a couple bolts in there. My drill bit's probably a little bit short. Um, I'll just finish drilling through once I get done with these holes here. Okay, so what I did was I, instead of using a 3 8 inch drill, I went one size up. That way I've got a little bit of play to get it in there. So, um, okay, now I'm going to slide this down and put the last, the third bolt in, third bolt hole in. This one I'm going to just center. Okay, just going to vacuum up this a little bit. Okay. 
We gotta finish drilling through the rest of the way here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a washer in there, one washer, and I've gotta get this line back up here. There it goes. And then the last one, there it goes. And I should have enough of a bite there at the end. Looks like it's about a 9 16 uh, socket. So I'm going to just snug these up. I'm not going to over tighten them for it now. I'll just later I'll tighten them up more. Okay. Actually, I don't need this board under here anymore. Okay, so we need to square this end up. This board actually moved a little bit when I was uh, drilling that second hole and pulling, uh, pulling it out, so I had to uh, readjust it, realign it. Once I get my third one in, it will be it, it'll stay in square. Huh? That last one didn't go through all the way. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what I did here was um, this was this was set the camera down. This was shifted a little bit, and the stringers on both sides were uh, wider at that end than on this end a little bit. So I loosened the bolts up, and then just by hand pulled. The clamp wasn't quite big enough. Just had to pull it uh, pull it tight. Uh, and now I'm I'm square down at the bottom on both sides as well. So uh, just a little tip if you're having trouble trying to square it up. I could put it down on the ground as well and do it, but I want to be able to drill up high. Uh, it's a little bit easier. So, so we're going to move this over. And so we'll get this one right out of here. We don't need it right now. And then we're going to clamp this up again so it doesn't move. Actually, now 
I'll get my two holes on this end, and I'll go put two holes on the other end. And unfortunately, I got a knot there, which probably is not the best place to do this, but I've already got the hole drilled, so we'll leave it. I think what I'm going to do is offset this one. Okay, I'm gonna stand this up on the concrete. I'm gonna stand this up on the concrete floor and uh, make sure it is square, even though it looks square up here. So it's uh, seems gonna be kind of heavy too. Eh, not too bad. say that yep I would say that's pretty square so uh, now we need to work on the second one of these what we're gonna do is have a frame where we have one here we have one over here and then I'm gonna run stringers in between and then this is where my wedge is actually gonna slip sit in in this slot here my wedges I may I got one more board I need to put in here actually um, I don't have to but that's the way I planned it uh, for a little more strength. But looking at it now, it looks like it's going to be pretty strong without that extra board in there. So. Um Okay, so I got this all put together. Um, basically what I did was I took, a f I built a frame on each side, which I did earlier. That side has one frame and this is the other frame. And then all I did on the ends is I squared it up, but then I used um, some of the headlock bolts uh, to put these cross pieces in. Now I'm gonna take it back apart, This take these four things off four cross pieces off so that I can uh, transport a little easier in my car and then I'll just 
uh, put it back together when I get up to camp, but I wanted to do it inside, drill, do all the drilling and everything while it was inside here and warm. So um, these, where did I go? These are the, uh, the timber lock. Uh, these are called, I think, the headlock. I guess I just call them timber lock. Oh, no, these are not it. <laughs> Sorry. Those are the other ones. Yeah, these are the headlock. Um, four and a half inches is what I used. And I do pre-drill it because, um, you know, going, going in through ash, I didn't want the thing splitting. Um, and then on the ends, obviously, I used bolts. Those are five-inch five bolts. And, yeah, this thing is pretty sturdy. I mean, it's not going anywhere. But I made it such that I can actually put it on a pallet if I want to. Um, so if I want to move it um, later, move it into the garage. Uh, the rough dimensions here are 47 inches by 36 inches. So that'll, that'll fit on a pallet. It'll barely fit lengthwise on a 48-inch pallet, but that, that's fine. Um, and then what I plan to do is have one of my box wedges here in this section, one over here, and because of the fact that I think it's 26 inches total, so I'd have 13 inches hanging over here and 13 inches hanging over here, and then down here I'll put one of the two wedges. I've got the, the tall four-way, um, or over on this side I can do the six-way. And I believe the wedges, um, at least the, the box wedge, will go down, I want to say it was like 20-something inches. Right now I've got between the two, I've got a little over 20 and a half inches. So um, the tail on the, on the wedge, I may need to put another set of boards further up here just so I have something to keep it from swinging once it gets in there um, but I'm not sure yet I'm gonna wait and see when I get up there I, I took some measurements but uh, but yeah I'm pretty happy the way this came out I just stained it with a uh, a uh, cedar stain the same stuff that I used on my board and batten project for the garage you can check that video out if you're interested in seeing it um, but yeah I, I think this will this will work out good, and I can leave it right out in the wood yard and then move it around as, as necessary. Oh, one other thing is you can see there's a little bit of gap down on the end on the cross piece. I kind of did that intentionally, so that way if I want to try to get the forks under there and pick it up, I can do that. I probably need to run uh, something in the middle um, if I want to lift it up because I, I think my I got like four, four uh, I'm sorry, 48 what is it 48 inch forks i don't remember but they're not they're probably not going to be long enough to go all the way down so i'd probably have to do something if i want to lift this thing up later on uh, in terms of putting a board across in the middle to have a, a lift point okay guys hopefully you enjoyed uh today's video today's build we'll do another video when we get it up to camp and test it out and see if i need to make any last minute adjustments but Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.